Hi guys, this is Fars and welcome back to Fars Lucy and I'm here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you how to add realistic skin texture in Photoshop in a simple way. So let's get started. Okay, this is the picture I'm gonna use. At first create a new layer and rename this one to texture. Done. Okay, then go to the edit and fill and here select 50 percent gray uh, uh blending mode normal opacity 100 percent press okay okay change the blending mode to overlay you can also change the blending mode uh, from that option okay now convert it to smart object because of the smart object you can always come back and re-edit it this is a very very important one okay now i want to add noise so for this go to the filter and camera filter i'm using camera filter to use uh, to add noise okay go to the effects option and uh, here is the grain that is i'm gonna apply as a noise uh, so I am applying around uh, 70 to 80 percent is fine and uh, for the size I'm going with around 80 or, or let's 100 uh, and uh, rough is I think around 75 is okay or 70 that's good now press okay look at this uh, now it's not looking like a texture it's not okay and now look at this as it is a smart object you can always go to the camera filter again and edit it just double click on this and here it is you can always edit this okay okay now go to the filter stylize and select here emboss okay 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 now here is three option angle height and amount okay let's talk about the angle okay uh, to set the angle you have to select the source of the light of your portrait in this case my light is coming from this uh, corner so I'm going with around uh, 145 degree angle from this corner right uh, i'm going with height 2 that's fine and let's see the amount okay make sure uh, preview is enabled so you can uh, see the live i think i think around 150 is uh, looking good look at this it's look at this it's looking uh, like texture right okay so i think it's done so press ok okay if you think this is too much or uh, you want to increase just click twice on the emboss option and you can always edit it okay now to make it more realistic i want to apply just a little blur go to the filter option blur and select the gaussian blur and i'm going with one pixel that's fine so press ok now we have a problem look at this the effect is applied all over the image the background the leaves the eyes but we don't want texture on the eyes on the background or on the lips so uh, we need to remove all this area okay so we need to create a mask uh, press and hold option or alt key on the windows and click on the mask that will create a negative mask okay Okay, now look at the color of uh, the mask that is black that means all your effects are now hidden so to reveal the effect we have to paint with a white brush okay so press B to select the brush tool and hardness 0% and okay now paint only on those area where you want to apply the texture okay not everywhere so here i want to uh, reduce the opacity around 50 percent and flow to 30 percent 
Now, zoom in and see where you want to apply the texture. I think there is a little bit uh, lack of texture. So, ops, 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 ops. Make sure your foreground color is white. You have to paint with a white brush to reveal the texture. Okay, make sure you have select the mask and now just paint like this. Okay, let's zoom in more and see. Take your time and paint. Okay, see the dip, uh, before and after. Look at this. Look at the texture. Okay, maybe here. That's good on this area. Okay, let's increase the opacity a little bit around 70% and now paint. Okay, that's fine. Now look at this before and after. Look at this. Look at the texture. It looks really good and realistic. Okay, let's reduce it a little bit around 60, 59. That's fine. Okay, on this area. Maybe on that area. Okay, now see. Look at the changes. It's really, really creating a depth. It's looking nice to me. Uh, so I think. I think it's enough right don't apply too much it's it will look uh, fake so I think it's enough look at this this was the before and this is after it's looking nice and real of course uh, okay if you think it is too much you can always come to the opposite and decrease it but I think in this case I am happy with 90% this is the V4. Look at the changes, and this is after it looking really good to me. So this is it. It is done. It's very simple. Uh, you can make action of this and just apply on any emails. I hope you love this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe.